you've got four super lame key cards. What now? This is it. The home of our creator. I say we smash his face, bust his stuff, and take a leak on his lawn. Stay ahead of you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> So they won a war. Well, then it's a war they'll get. Violet, engage the super tuned defense systems. Yes, Mr. Groning. It's graining. Are you sure? No. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Simpsons game. And, um, yeah, before this is like the proper levels or the beginning of the end, I should say. And this is when the game gets really tricky. I'm glad to announce. And when I say glad, I mean uh, bad times. But yeah, so what? We're in Matt Groening's house and now we're going to go kill him. Like I've probably already said, the plot is a bit loose in this game. Maybe it makes more sense in the actual console version, but I've watched some videos of that and it, it really doesn't. So, but you know, it's a Simpsons game. I mean, I've played the other Simpsons games, none of them really make sense. And it, there's some pretty cool stuff in this level, so I'm not going to complain. It is a good level. And don't do that, that's my little trick. Bart can't swim. Much like Sonic, or allegedly like Sonic, he can't swim and just drowns. Let's deal with that anyway. Sonic can swim. Even though he's apparently scared of water, but he can swim. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing that out there. So yeah, the whole point this is Matt Groening being evil and trying to take over the world or something. And yeah, because Matt Groening is stinking rich, <laughs> which he actually would be in real life. I, I'm I'm pretty sure they actually just took photos of his house, and this is what it is actually like. You know, they didn't they didn't have to change anything down to the Carl Hedge head in the background. I'm sure that's definitely there. If I created The Simpsons, I would do that. And the three limos parked out around? Hmm. I would also have that <laughs> if I was rich. Just in case. What limo do I think I'm going to take today? I mean, they're all they're all limos, and I'm still rich, so I don't think I would get ever well ever be bored of that conversation with myself. I'm still rich. What am I meant to do? And I'm sorry about that. Pretty dumb mistake, if you ask me. Although you can see what happened, I just rolled off. And I'm not going to blame the controls like I always do, that was all my fault. Because <laughs> I messed up. Right, let's do this right this time. There we go. So yeah, now we've got a little... <sighs> bloody lawyers. I think you just hate it when you're a fat guy and you're trying to press buttons and a lawyer tries to kill you. It happens all the time to me. So yeah, we've got to hit these in the right order, but there's no indication of what the right order is. Pretty much if the button stays down, you've hit it in the right order. So what you're meant to do is be hit, I'm meant to be hitting grey, but <laughs> I'm just this is me doing a bit of guesswork, just trying to figure out the puzzle. And then I realise that the grey button's down, so now you just kinda have to there's no like you have to guess. You can't figure this out. Although I'm sure this is gonna be the same combination as any Simpsons game. It's not gonna be different. I'm sure there's some games where the combination of a certain door is different. I can't remember what game I'm thinking of. Am I thinking of Banjo Tui or something like that? I don't know. I just remember playing a game where you couldn't cheat because what they did, they um had it so the combination to one lock was always different. So yeah, video game cliche: a wizard did it. Not sure what that was for. I'm gonna guess the combination of buttons. And now we're inside Matt Groening's house, which things start to get really fun. <laughs> this level is definitely the hardest level in the game. I mean, the level... how many levels are there? There's not that many left, but I think this level was a couple of parts, and it's by far the hardest. So as you can see, just some simple pencils coming out because, you know, if you're an animator, you obviously have giant pencils coming out of your walls. I know I do. Well, if I were to be a writer, that's what I would do. So yeah, it's pretty simple at the moment, but it gets it gets tough. 
like <laughs> it's still good I still like this level but that's because I'm not currently playing it and trying to rip out my own hair and swearing and <laughs> getting angry everything's always better in retrospect because you don't have to do it because yeah I, I messed that up sorry about that because yeah see those little golden dog things no idea what they are and I have no idea what they're firing I mean I don't know what a dog would fire out of his mouth apart from sick <laughs> or some dog food or yeah that's all I can think of what but the golden dogs fire something that really hurts you so you gotta try and avoid that at any cost so. and the yeah, they oh, they come back in a big way I'm afraid so you've got some more lawyers to kill which I always enjoy because you know lawyers are evil or something I can't remember and yeah those pencils watch out that's an instant kill <laughs> an instant kill if you get hit by um one of those pencils like that see <laughs> I, it's almost like I knew that was going to happen and like I tied it perfectly see this is a nice easy bit this bit trying to get past these pencils I have no idea why the pencils are an instant kill though is it just because you're a video game character and when you get drawn on you die or something I really don't know video game logic oh I was so close so close guys yeah, if you're worried that this whole video is just going to be me failing, then you are right. But I have sped up a layer bit, because this is nothing. This is nothing. I have cut out a lot and sped up a lot to get this video how it is, because you may think, God, this guy sucks, but yeah. Trying to do this level, even on a DS, would be hard. I would have trouble on an actual DS. And I do like how at the top they have the original, um, all around they have the original Simpsons drawings. God, I cannot imagine watching that. Because obviously in the 138th episode Spectacular, they show the very first one, but that was terrible. I can't imagine ever liking the Simpsons in that form. I don't know, it's just weird. Although I'm British, so I don't watch American TV. Or, you know, I do watch American TV, because I watch The Simpsons, obviously, but... I guess it's different over there. I can't imagine it. <laughs> and another death. Now, I think there should have been a video cliche for constantly dying in the same place, because I would have definitely nailed that one. Definitely got that one. No doubt about it. I died in the same place twice then, but... This isn't even the hard bit I was thinking about. That's, yeah. And in case you're wondering, that's the easy way to do it. You don't have to keep dying and getting hit by the dog. Bloody dog. I really, I really want to know what it's firing at its mouth. I'm going to have a look. I'm going to have a look out for it. Because I didn't notice at the time. Because I was just being like... That is nothing. I think it's firing gold coins. That's what I'm going to guess. But And then, yeah, I got the crusty token. But at what cost? Yeah, it's definitely gold coins, not golden sick or anything like that, because that would be disgusting. <laughs> so yeah, that's fine. I'm, I've got a good thing this time. I'm actually going to do it, because the problem with this, okay, the problem with this is that you're gonna, you have to kill the enemies. You just have to kill them, and that's something that gets quite tricky to do sometimes. And so yeah, just make because you're gonna have to try and re you can't kill the dog houses. I I tried. I think I'm a hundred percent sure you can't kill them. So you're gonna have to just kill any enemies, any lawyers or anything like that. Just anything you can. And I got extremely lucky then. And then not so lucky then. Some papers to the face killed me. Obviously. Duh. How 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 how. This isn't a very nice house. Unless that's meant to be to robbers like myself. When I say robbers, I mean, you know. I'll give the stuff back. So yeah, now we're back to Homer, which is nice, because Homer's part's always a lot nicer than Bart's. I do like Homer. Homer's probably the best character of the players. Even though the mechanics, I mean, having four buttons... <laughs> stupidly, I have the four buttons laid out in a row on the keyboard, so it makes things a lot more interesting let's just say but it 
basically means Marjorie's levels are fine, Lisa's are fine, Holmes are fine. When it comes to Bart though, I have a really bad time. I do not like Bart as a character. I don't know, it just... Not that his levels are, un are like, bad. It's just I... They can get, they get tricky. These are like, the Bart sections are definitely the hardest part of the game. As you're kind of seeing out. I think I, uh, yeah, I'm going to start, I'm going to speed this up in a second. Because basically that electricity hurts you and you have to kill the lawyers and it's a long process. <sighs> I'm now speeding it up just to get out of the way. You gotta go through the long process of going all the way up here, trying to get the cave mechanics to work, and then killing every single lawyer. But as you can see, I'm not really going for the lawyers at the moment, so that's why I sped up. I didn't want to cut it out because I wanted I wanted you guys to know just how badly it, I su I suffered. I've, and also, they have a hilarious voice. They have a hilarious squeaky mouse voice. That's always fun. So yeah, this bit's not too bad. It's just. You have to get it really precise not to get hit by electricity. There is I think there's a there is a technique to doing it. You wait for that you yeah, you kinda jump through like that. And then yeah, I got a checkpoint there, which means every time I fall off I just kill myself. And that's why I recommend you do as well. Just kill yourself straight away, jump in the water. There's honestly no point trying. This area is a pretty weird area though, because I'm not sure what it's meant to be about. Is it just meant to be basic drawings or... Oh, and this bit's the worst. This bit's the absolute worst. See, so, yeah, you have to kill the lawyers up there. But, they just hit you every time. They just hit you. There's an, and it's very annoying. <laughs> you just swing along, go like this, and then get hit by a lawyer. And then fall down. And there's nothing you can do. I mean, obviously there is something you can do because I, I've i done it and I'm going to do it in this video, but yeah, you can't even shoot the lawyers there, so you kind of, it's really awkward. I'm afraid to say, when you, if you're playing along or thinking or planning to play this, which I hope you are, it is a good game after all, just be aware of those lawyers, they really, really are annoying. So you know, I just quickly have to try and kill them. And yeah, that cartoon in the top left, I think that's in the Simpsons, the Simpsons episode. Like, one of the joke things. I can't remember. I really can't remember what episode, I'm afraid. If I did, I would say, but I... I God. Because I, I was thinking it's the episode in Season 2 where they cancel Itchy and Scratchy. That would be my guess. Where Marge gets it cancelled. Because it's too violent, but... I don't think that's actually it. The one where they replaced the itchy... No! Oh god. Now I'm embarrassing myself. I think I mean the one where the hobo man shows up. And then um, claims he made itchy and scratchy so they show that Eastern European film instead. I, I can't remember. I haven't watched either episode in a while. Damn, that's going to annoy me now. And anyway, on that note... um coming to the end of the part so I will see you next time for the rest of the level. Okay, bye!